this is Louise. Today I want to talk about confidence, creative confidence, believing in ourselves as artists and valuing what we create. I want to speak honestly about where I'm at right now in my artist journey, what I'm struggling with, and what steps I'm taking to overcome those struggles and reach my goals. Maybe it can be of help and inspiration to someone else. And while I do that, I'll show you the process behind painting this great tit. This is actually the very first painting of my next collection, which I'm going to call In Flight. I've been planning this project for a while now. I'm interested in capturing the more dynamic poses of birds, where they're up in the air, wings spread out and sort of in action. I want more birds in action and not just sitting on a branch looking pretty. I mentioned this in my previous studio vlog, which I'll link below, that I've been struggling a bit with getting back into watercolor painting after a few months away from it. I talk about the perfectionism and the self-criticism I've been dealing with. And since that video, I have realized a few things about myself and the steps that I need to take to become more confident in myself as an artist, because I have not been feeling very confident at all lately. I've been feeling nervous and uptight and almost scared to paint. Scared to mess up, to waste precious art supplies and to let myself down and yeah. You know how it is. I still feel very much like a beginner watercolorist. I started my watercolor learning journey around mid-2020. And even though I've come a long way since then, I've created lots of paintings that I love and that others love too. I've even sold some of my work, but I still use less expensive watercolor paper and almost exclusively paint smaller scale paintings, because that way I'm lowering the stakes for myself and it doesn't feel as devastating if I should mess up a painting. But that mentality is really starting to hold me back, and I think that's a big part of why I felt so off about painting lately. I knew some things had to change. I want to take the next steps this year towards the art career of my dreams. I want to create better work, and I want to have the courage to create bigger works. Large, impressive paintings like the ones my role models paint. I want to have my first exhibition to publicly display my art, which I haven't done yet. And I want to sell more original art. And I realized that in order to reach these goals, I need to change my mindset and my confidence. I need to value my art more and value myself as an artist. I need to believe in myself and not be so damn scared. <laughs> like I talked about in that vlog about perfectionism, I rarely create work I'm proud of when I'm in that nervous, tense state of mind. When I'm afraid of failure. My best work tends to come from being relaxed and inspired and in a playful mood, having no expectations and no fear of failure. And just to clarify, I'm not afraid of the failure itself. I know that's a natural and necessary part of being a creative. And I'm completely fine with sucking at things and learning from my mistakes. I just don't want to waste expensive watercolor paper. This paper that I'm using here, Arches, cold pressed, 100% cotton paper, it's top notch. It's what the professionals use. And I've had some sheets of this in my studio for months and barely used it other than for some commissions. You know, the way that you keep your fine china locked away in a cabinet, waiting for an important enough moment to use it, but then that moment almost never comes. This paper is crazy expensive for someone like me who barely has an income at the moment, and so I really don't want to waste it. But the ironic thing is that I'm much more likely to succeed with a painting if I'm using quality paper like this. Mistakes are much more easily fixable, and the paint is easier to move around and blend and lift off, and the colors and the brush strokes just look better. Paper is the number one most important material for a watercolor artist, way more important than paints and brushes. I've always known that, but I've been stingy and not really trusting myself with it. And that has to stop. How can I expect to ever be taken seriously as an artist if I don't take myself and my art seriously? How can I expect others to value what I create if I don't value it enough to use quality materials? 
Investing in good art supplies is saying to ourselves that our art matters and it deserves to be presented in the best possible way. It deserves to be elevated. I love the luxurious feeling of painting on 100% cotton paper. That feeling makes me more focused on what I'm doing, more present, and that, in turn, usually results in a better painting. Not just because of the paper quality, but also because of my effort. I put in more effort when using finer paper like this. The stakes are higher, and the exhilaration is much bigger when I finish one of these paintings. I get a confidence boost from that. And the same principle applies to painting big which I'll also be doing for this collection. I need to challenge my fear of that. The fear of messing up a huge, expensive sheet of watercolor paper. If I never do that, I'll never feel confident enough to paint that big. I'll just continue to keep myself small, and I'm not okay with that. You shouldn't be either. We should not be afraid to raise the stakes in our painting. To allow ourselves the finest art supplies we can afford, to work on large canvases or papers, to put pressure on ourselves, to feel that nervous excitement in our stomach when we put down our first brushstroke. We need to embrace the possibility of failure in order to build confidence as artists. And that's what I'm working on right now with this collection. I'm going to invest in myself by only using good quality paper. I'm going to plan my sketches really well so that I'm confident in the idea and the composition. And I'm going to paint in a variety of sizes, ranging from this fairly small A4 size for the smaller birds, up to some really large 56 by 76 centimeter sheets. That's 22 by 30 inches. Just looking at these makes my hands sweaty. But I know I can do it. If I need to mess some of them up, so be it. Because when one of those finished paintings hang on my wall, it's going to be a huge confidence boost. This is what I love about watercolors. The excitement, the thrill, not knowing what's going to happen. It's like a roller coaster ride. You're supposed to be a little scared. And frankly, I would rather pay the cost to feel that thrill than not feel anything when I'm painting or feeling too safe and getting bored. Do you agree? Do you get that nervous tingle in your stomach when you start a new painting? Do you love it, or do you hate it, or maybe both at the same time? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, and maybe you'll like this other one too. I have several more videos about the challenges of being a creative and how we can deal with them. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.